Hi all, Matthew Bode here back with another South African genealogy tutorial. Today's tutorial is made at the request of a member of the South African genealogy group on Facebook who asked me what my protocol for backing up my genealogy data is. So I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of how I do it. Probably going to be quite different to the way many of you do it, but that's okay because we all tackle our research in different ways. So this is just my procedure. So I actually prefer to do all my family tree building, media adding, source citations online. And as I said, that's probably contrary to the way a lot of you prefer, but that's okay. So as you can see, I've just been adding some documents, um, some family photos to my tree. So what I'll do every day once I've finished my genealogy for the day is I'll go into my family tree building desktop software of choice, which for me is Family Tree Maker. And I'll open my tree there. And because I'm finished for the day, I'll just sync it. As you can see, while it's syncing, it'll give me a rundown of how many sources I've added, people I've added and deleted, media items added and deleted. So if any of the numbers look a little off, you can normally pick it up and then cancel the sync before it's too late. All right, so once that's done, my next step is to always go into my designated media folder. So for any of you who have a desktop family tree software, when you set it up, you would have specified a folder on your um, desktop or on your computer where you'd like all your media items to sync to. So for me, I am called that folder the Bodhi Radomir family tree. So it's just my dad's surname, my mom's maiden name. So it's just easy for me to identify. So as you can see, I've added a few photos. So instead of just having a copy saved on my computer, for all my recent media items, I'll straight away take them and add them to a folder of a similar name in Google Drive. Because that for me is just another layer of protection. I'll, I'll always advocate for having an online family tree, whether that be private or public. At the moment, I'm of the opinion that private is better. And a desktop software and having all your media uploaded and saved in the cloud. That is my preferred method of um, saving all my genealogy data. My process doesn't end here though. This is my daily routine, but what I'll do once a month as well is, I'll go into my family tree and I'll export my latest GEDCOM because I've put a lot of effort into adding people, or adding sources or whatever, and say if for whatever reason, Ancestry One Day is hacked and my entire family tree is deleted, I want a copy of my GEDCOM as it was at the time that all the data was lost. So just another layer of protection. So in order to do that, sorry, I'll just go back to the family tree. So to export your latest GEDCOM, what you want to do is go into the top left-hand corner of your family tree on Ancestry and click on your family tree name and then hover over tree settings and then under tree settings go to the very bottom and go export tree so I think my family tree is about six or seven thousand people strong now so it could take a, a minute or so to actually export the JEDCOM All right, so it's generated the file, so now we just have to download it. Okay, so now that the file is finally downloaded, you can rename your JEDCOM to whatever you would like to rename it to. And once I've got the file in my downloads folder, I'll save it to three places. So firstly, 
I'll save it to the genealogy folder on my computer. Secondly, I will save it to the genealogy folder on Dropbox, which is a very common cloud server. And lastly, once again, to Google Drive. And as you can see up here, doing its magic to saving to save my data to the cloud. So anyway, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and I hope that it encourages you to back up your data. I'll always be an advocate for having a copy online, on your desktop and in the cloud because it just protects you from all those unforeseen events. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful and have a great day. Bye.